When survival depends on heat, the smallest inventions can make the biggest difference. During the brutal winters of the North Atlantic in World War II, sailors cast adrift after their ships were torpedoed faced an enemy more relentless than any naval fleet. The cold, relentless ocean and icy winds threatened life far faster than hunger or injury. In lifeboats, they had no wood to burn, no open flame to cook rations, and no shelter from the biting elements. Yet, against all odds, many survived long enough to be rescued. Their secret wasn't just luck or training. It was a small, unassuming piece of technology known as the lifeboat stove. Simple in appearance, yet revolutionary in function, it burned without flame, without smoke, and without ever revealing the location of a vessel to lurking enemy submarines. For anyone interested in survival or history, understanding this forgotten device reveals lessons in innovation, chemistry, and sheer human ingenuity that remain relevant today. The lifeboat stove was born out of necessity, not comfort. Naval engineers during the war faced a stark reality. Lifeboats were launched into freezing waters where survival often counted in hours or days. Traditional stoves or open fires were impossible. Oxygen was limited in a closed canopy, fuel was scarce, and any visible flame could draw the attention of enemy forces. The solution had to be discreet, safe and reliable under the harshest conditions. The result was a tiny metal canister that could provide hours of heat, capable of warming rations or melting ice into drinkable water without producing visible smoke or flames. This was not an accident of design. It was a carefully engineered solution born of desperation and precise chemical knowledge. At the heart of the lifeboat stove was a gel fuel made by mixing ethanol with a small amount of calcium acetate. This transformed ordinary alcohol into a jelly-like substance that burned steadily and cleanly. When ignited, the stove produced almost no visible flame, only a faint blue shimmer, radiating heat rather than light. The chemical reaction involved ethanol vaporizing and oxidizing, while calcium acetate stabilized the burn. The result was a heat source that could operate in confined spaces without consuming oxygen dangerously or producing smoke that might reveal a ship's position. Unlike kerosene or solid fuel tablets, this gel maintained a constant burn rate and allowed sailors to safely warm their hands over the stove. After World War II, the principles behind this tiny stove influenced survival gear far beyond naval lifeboats. Arctic expeditions, Cold War survival kits and early NASA emergency supplies included chemical heaters built on the same concept. Soldiers in Korea and Vietnam carried gel heat tabs to cook rations without drawing attention. Civilian camping and survival enthusiasts later adopted the same approach in self-heating meals and flameless heating devices. The design showed that innovation born from necessity could evolve into practical everyday survival tools without losing the efficiency that made them life-saving in the first place. Modern outdoor gear often emphasizes high-tech solutions, solar panels, advanced stoves or portable generators, but the lifeboat stove reminds us that some of the most effective solutions are elegantly simple. For survivalists, campers, or those preparing for emergencies, the concept of flame-free heat is invaluable. In a tent, snow cave, or stealth camp, where visible fire is dangerous or prohibited, a small gel stove can provide warmth, cook meals, and melt ice quietly. The principle is straightforward. A small amount of properly prepared gel fuel in a heat-proof container 
produces steady heat with minimal light or smoke. The stove may seem modest, but in critical situations it can literally save lives. For those interested in experimenting safely, the chemistry can be replicated with careful preparation. By mixing denatured alcohol with calcium acetate, roughly one teaspoon per 100 milliliters of alcohol, you can create a gel fuel suitable for heating water or food. Always use a heat-proof container, ensure proper ventilation, and conduct tests outdoors. While modern fuel tablets are convenient, recreating the lifeboat stove's flameless heat teaches the value of resourcefulness, chemical understanding, and quiet problem-solving under pressure. It is not just a lesson in history. It is a practical skill that can be applied in modern survival scenarios. What makes the lifeboat stove remarkable is not only its chemistry, but the mindset behind it. Engineers weren't creating luxury, they were crafting a lifeline. The stove symbolized human ingenuity in the face of life-threatening adversity. It reminds the survivalist and historian alike that necessity often drives the most enduring innovations. Today, when we carry advanced gear into the wild, we are standing on the shoulders of those who faced harsher conditions with far fewer resources. Understanding and preserving these lessons is more than homage to the past. It is preparation for the future. Every survival story benefits from studying history. The lifeboat stove shows that knowledge, creativity and practical problem-solving are just as important as physical gear. By studying how sailors survived with minimal resources, we gain insight into strategies that remain applicable to modern survival, emergency preparedness and outdoor exploration. Each small invention in history teaches resilience, discipline, and the quiet power of well-applied science. If this glimpse into wartime ingenuity sparked your curiosity, take the next step. Explore historical survival gear, experiment safely with flameless heating concepts, and share your discoveries with others who value practical knowledge. For more insights into wartime survival, forgotten inventions, and lessons that endure beyond the battlefield, subscribe to Warfront Survival and share this video with fellow history buffs and survival enthusiasts. The past has a way of saving lives in the present, and together we can keep these vital lessons alive.